Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome back to our LEGO Star Wars uh, Building a Venator mock. Uh, so, last episode, we did the layout, we took our paper, you know, we figured out what we were going to do, and then after that, we got to work formatting the mock, we got all the layout done, and this episode, we are working on the back walls. We're working from the back on our way to the front, uh, so that's a big thing we talked about today. You know, this was filmed over the span of about a week or so, and we did get a lot done, you know, you see a lot of it right there. Um, but yeah, so we got like the ramp, all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, so again, I want to get right into the video. We got a lot done and I want to give a huge thank you again to Clone Army Customs for, you know, being the series sponsor. So feel free to check them out. And you know, let's get right on into it. Okay, so I have been working on the mock. And yeah, so not not too much. Um, I've kind of got some stuff done. Obviously, here's the planning sheet. Um, so yeah, so first off, I was working on this little model. This is just a little sample for what the windows up here are going to look like. Um, in the actual Battlefront game, uh, it actually has like four. Uh, so you see that right there. I might just do two. I don't know. We'll see because, you know, one, two. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. It doesn't have to be 100% like accurate, I guess. Um... So yeah, that's the plan of the window. I'm going to have four of these, and obviously, we're going to have two back here. And I think what I want to work on in this there area is the back wall. Uh, I want to get that all stacked up and nice. Um, you know, that doesn't require too much attention. The only thing is the door, uh, which I could basically leave a section empty. And that shouldn't be too difficult. You know, I'm not sure if I want to, like, have a sliding door. Or I'll just have it, like, kind of built over it. I'm not 100% sure. I know I'm going to need some dark gray tiles, which I'm going to have to order soon. Um, and a lot of people in the last video were saying, you know, you should use a darker gray. Now, the reason I'm not using a darker gray um, for the most of the mock is because I am not made of money. <laughs> um, it, it's really expensive to, like, bilk up on an entire another set of brick, especially when I have all this right here. Um, and I'm perfectly kind of content with using uh, the light gray, and I think it would still capture the perfect, you know, look that we're going to need for the mock. Uh, and then, yeah. And then, so next up, obviously, I would think if we could, like, lift this up a little. Like, if I get the bricks up to here. Um, right now, this ramp is being held up by this little, like, I don't even know what to call it, piece, escape pod piece, say. That's what that's being held up by, basically. This little thing I built, by the way, it's just, just a nice little platform. Chances are this one I'm going to use. I'm going to tile it up a little more. Uh, but the chances are, once I build up, I'm going to put a clip and it'll just lay down on that, so that way, you know, if I want to lift it up for whatever reason, I can. Um, but yeah, I think that looks really good, and I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking we do snot technique up here, um, in, in this little ramp area that's going to exist up here. I, I think that'll look really good. Uh, so yeah, so it's starting to come together. I think I'm going to start getting to work on the back wall, and I'll see you guys when I've gotten some stuff done. Okay, so we got some progress done today. Um, so this was a lot more progress than I was planning on, but I'm very happy about it. And, and again, this is not final or anything. This is, uh, still gonna be tampered around with a bit, but this is a general idea. Um, and I probably want to stack this up even another brick, just so that way you guys get a better example. Let me do that real quick. Okay, it looks better now. Uh, but this is a sample for what the entire mock will look like. Now, I tried starting to do... Oh, right, and I just dropped my bricks. This has been a mess. Sorry about that, uh, but yeah, so I was actually missing this piece right here, or specifically th these pieces, like these curved ones, um, so I couldn't finish that, but as soon as I find them, I'll be able to pretty much finish up this side the same way, and then obviously back here, there's usually a hallway, I might change that up a tiny bit, and then also over here, obviously, is going to be the center hallway, and then obviously right here, we have this thing I built, the ramp, um, which is looking pretty good. You know, again, it's probably going to be tiled out or something, and I plan on getting some grill pieces for all down here. Um, but it is looking good. Um, now, obviously, the floor work should be fun. Uh, but overall, I'm getting really hyped. Now, if you want to take a closer look, I need to kneel down here. Here is a bit of what it looks like. You know, here's the down one, uh, downstairs one. I want to keep one closed and one open. I want to experiment with some stuff. I was trying uh, to replicate this. Let me... So I have this type of thing. That, this isn't what I'm going to do. Um, but here, I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking something along the lines, and again, this is a terrible representation. Uh, but, like, if you look at the sides, it, it looks, like, decent. No, no, that doesn't even look good. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. That doesn't look great. Sorry about my finger. There it is. Um, but, but, yeah, so down here, back here, uh, I think this looks great. I am going to, obviously, you know, maybe I'll put some pipes up there. I'm sure, I, I'm pre I remember it being pretty smooth. Um, so I'm just going to probably kind of just clean it out so that way it's not so studded. Um, but I'm going to do that later on in the mock. And who knows, I actually might 
leave the door open. I kind of like it, and I like, you know, having troopers run out. Um, but I don't know. We'll wait and see on that one. And again, I, I, it's weird because I feel like the wall looks too plain and it's all one color. And right now, obviously, the one color sucks. Once we have the floor down, uh, it's going to contrast a little bit better, which should be good. And, you know, we have certain, like, patterns or whatever, um, which should be good. But, yeah, that is the general idea of what we're doing here. Um, so the next thing I really want to focus on is, you know, getting this side finished. And, you know, we get the full ramparts on the back wall. I think it might go up a few bricks higher. Like, I wouldn't... I would, I'd say we'd go up, like, two bricks higher. I don't know. I mean, let me just stack so I just get a general idea. I don't know. Like, say that high? I think we'd even go higher than that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, so the next thing I really want to work on is uh, getting up this wall, and we'll get up this pillar. Because then the baseline is down. After that, we're going to probably work on ground flooring and, and all that. And then after that, we're going to work on, you know, the big boxes and crates. And then we get into the hyper details, like on the tiles on the ground and that sort of stuff. And then, obviously, after that, the figures. So, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a bit of a mess right now, but here's a quick overview of what we've done so far. I also was wondering, so I was looking at getting the Brick Arms, uh, you know, blaster, Karen, oh my gosh. Brick Arms has a little, like, you know, special blaster gun, you know, I don't even, E-Webs. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to get that or use the official Lego one. Now, since I'm using Clonery Customs and I'm, you know, not opposed to using Customs for this mock series, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should do that. But I'm not sure. I do like the one that came in the at, -AT. I believe there's one that's set up right around here in the game. I don't think there were any on that side, but I know there was one right here, and I wasn't sure. So the other one's $25, and this is obviously a much, much cheaper alternative. Uh, so, you know, tell me what you guys think what I should do uh, in that regard. Okay, so it's been a few days, actually. I'm back. Uh, you know, it's been, like, a few days since I worked on the mock. I know I was supposed to do, like, two weeks, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I did was able to find the piece and finish this up. It looks fantastic. I am loving uh, this. I think it worked out really well. We have pretty much most of the back wall done. And on top of that, I did connect the two interior pieces. So we have the floor. So next episode, we're probably going to work on the center area. We do have the bridge, which is back here. I was just taking a thumbnail photo and we're going to just put that here. Uh, you know, it fits nice and clean. I think we're going to use something along those lines. Again, nothing too certain. I did set up some tiles just for the thumbnail photo. Uh, but yeah, it's looking great. So the next plan is obviously we need to set up pillars under here. So I might have to disassemble this a little bit. Uh, so that way we'd set up some pillars. That shouldn't be too incredibly difficult. They're just poles. There's not actual like curvature. And if there is, you know, it's a tiny bit like we use one of these uh, just, you know, get the general idea. Uh, because again, you guys know I'm running low on these pieces. Uh, but you know, I shouldn't hopefully need too many more other than up here. All right. I forgot about that. Anyway, it's looking great. I'm really excited to get started. Obviously, I still need to level this properly with the rest of the mock. Um, but yeah, so with that said, let's get into the outro. Okay, so yeah, that was the, you know, episode. Uh, I had a lot of fun, you know, working on the mock this week. I think we made a ton of progress. And... I'm really excited. I want to hear your guys' suggestions for what we do with this mock. Because, you know, I want to make this kind of like a, you know, a interactive fan series that people get really excited about. Uh, we did have episode one. I'm sorry. I know it was two weeks late. Uh, you know, it was just things got a little bit hectic, and I wanted to um, get it out there and make it a quality, full episode. Uh, you know, I'm very excited. I'd like to get this done before August starts. Uh, if possible, that's the general plan. And, you know, it's working out really well. So next episode, we're likely going to be working on the center ramp area. We're going to maybe even tile that out. I don't know. And some people have suggested they use snot technique uh, for the floor. And I, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that, but we'll just have to see. And, uh, you know, maybe that'll be something interesting. Um, but I'm very excited to, you know, try out some stuff. I'm going to be looking at the floor patterns in the game, which would be exciting. And then also, I want to work on, you know, the interior under the uh, under the bridge. I'm going to call that the bridge for all intents and purposes. Um, but yeah, so with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. <laughs>